Hello YouTube, this is uh, Longboard Attic 7. I'm going to be reviewing my board, the Arbor Axis Bamboo. Uh, this is the 2012 edition graphic. Uh, this is a sticker, but I don't want to get my helmet, but yeah. So, on the Arbor Axis comes the 72mm 78A. Um, Arbor wheels. Like that. Um, it is seven layers of maple, and the top layer is bamboo, much like the uh, Arbor Koa, which is like seven layers, and then the top one's Koa. Um, so with this, I have the Paris 180 trucks and the Paris 180 stock bushings and yeah uh, so this board is symmetrical so you can ride it either way whatever you want to do and yeah just easy to ride it's a good starter board um, there is some concave like it isn't too big it is an outrageous concave but It'll uh it'll do the job. You can easily just go carving. It's good for going down hills. It's a uh, pretty good board. I've had it for about two or three months now, so just been riding it, and I personally like it as a beginner board. This is my first board. I now have a uh, loaded Dervisama deck. I'm uh, waiting till spring to put that on though, so. So then, just riding this one. But this is definitely a good beginner board. It's sturdy, pretty strong, you know. Like it's really well made. Uh, car ran over the the, nut, the tail of it and cracked it, but it still stood together for the most part. Had to get, it, I guess, clamped. But for the most part, it's a really great board. Really strong. It is uh, 40 inches long from nose to tail. It is 8.75 inches wide and then the wheelbase is 30 inches. So, I'll do a flex test. I'm about 175 pounds. 170, 175 pounds. As you can see, it is a fairly good board. Not too flexy, but just flexy enough. So, I recommend this as a good beginner board. The Arbor Axis, either Bamboo or Ka. But, yeah. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos in the future. And, yeah.